Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar. I'm today's host, Orin. I graduated from Yongshaping University and now working as a teacher assistant in Yongshaping University Pathway Program. So nice to meet you all. I remember when I considered and decided to go abroad for my studies, I was definitely excited. But at the same time, I was also worried because there were so many questions in my head about the university, the quality of the education, the life in another country and a city, the career development opportunities, etc. All in all, I was a little bit nervous about what it will be like to be a student in Sweden. Is that just the same you? Good thing and please relax, we are with you. This webinar is about to answer all these questions, which will hopefully make you all confident about in taking a big step ahead in your life. And this is the right time and right place for you to get the information you need directly from our teachers and schoolmates. So first of all, let me introduce you to you guys about the guests we have today. They are Johan, the Dean of Pathway Program, the head of our JUE, and Melly, the former Pathway student and now studying in Shopping University. Evelyn, the head of our Education and Operation Manager of the JUE Program. Thank you all for coming. The guests are coming together today for your deeper understanding and information about studying JUE and life in your shopping university. We are expecting an exciting discussion on these related topics. Before we begin with the presentations, I would love to remind you and offer you some critical information. First of all, the session will be recorded for the purpose of sharing it with the admitted students who could not join us at, at this time. So we can send them a copy of this feed. Secondly, this web, uh, webinar session is interactive, so you will give given opportunities to ask any of your questions to our guest or to me. Please remember to write them at the Q&A function Zoom on Zoom. We will answer all in the end of the webinar. Now, first of all, we give the floor to Johan, Dean of the Pathway Program and the head of our JUE program. Welcome. Johan, could you please give us a brief self-introduction? Thank you so much, Orin, uh, and thank you for organizing this uh, excellent opportunity. My name is Johan Palskard, and I am in the, C the chief executive of uh, Jönköping University Enterprise, the school, and I'm also the dean, uh, so I'm in charge also of uh, the overall uh, education. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this uh, session and the opportunity to uh, get questions from you, uh, and uh, we, will, uh, we will try to answer them as best as we can. Thank you, Johan, Mr. Dean. I think the students coming here today are mostly concerned about the possibilities with the pathway program and the education at the JU, as well as their future career potentials. Could you please share your idea with us? Thank you, Orin. Uh, absolutely. First of all, uh, I would say that uh, if you, and hopefully, uh, choose to take the step to come to uh, Jönköping and Campus Grenna, where the pathway programs is situated and where the education takes place and where you live, I would say that you would come to one of the most loveliest places in Sweden and probably in Scandinavia. This little town called Grenna, where we have the campus, is one of the most beautiful places uh, in Sweden. It's situated just by a lake that you might have seen uh, on the pictures. Uh, it's uh, totally possible to go down and swim. Uh, it's a little town that is extremely safe. Uh, you will have everything you need on campus, but you will also have the possibility to do a lot of leisure activities cycling, running, uh, playing any kind of sport um, and using our facilities, of course, where we have a lot of activities for you. Uh, and not least, which is very important, the op opportunity to integrate and uh, have a relationship with a lot of people in the ordinary uh, citizens of Grenna. Uh, it's a little town, a tourist town, and there's a lot of people moving around. So it's, it's very lively, even if it's small. And uh, as I said, the opportunity to have a very, very good student life uh, at Campus Grenna is, is, I would say, one of the highest you can get in, uh, in, in the Nordic region. 
And apart from that, the education, uh, which of course is the most important, it's not only about uh, the leisure time, of course, it's mainly about the education that you will come for. The education is of a, a very, very high standard. It's of a very high standard throughout the university, uh, where a lot of you will uh, end up after the pathway programs, where, will you where you will continue to uh, follow up program at one of our different schools, at the business school or the engineering school. Uh, where you will have first class education and also, of course, equally at the pathway programs. Uh, it's absolutely amazing what the teachers are doing to help students to develop into uh, both when it comes to the substance as such. If you need a pathway for English or if you need it for uh, mathematics or other subjects in order to have opportunity to go to, go to your follow up program. But it's very much about the personal experience and, and the opportunity to grow as an individual, the opportunity to learn to speak in front of other people, or the opportunity to also integrate with people from other cultures. Uh, we have an amazing uh, mix of people from uh, all parts of the world. Uh, I think we have had over 40, 50 nationalities going through the pathway programs. So the classroom that you will meet is, first of all, a very kind classroom, a very professional one, but it's a very much, very much a global classroom. Uh, we talk about something called global citizenship at the pathway programs, where you are very much very in, in the beginning, uh, feeling a sense of that you are a part of, let's say, a bigger community. Uh, and the opportunity to mix with other uh, students and the opportunity to get to know people from other parts of the world. It's a very big opportunity. Uh, and uh, a lot of our former Pathway program students have told us that they have kept in contact with a lot of people after they have finished their studies and also met them in workplaces. And then the Pathway programs, uh, which I said, uh, which have a lot of um, different qualities to it. But one is, of course, the opportunity to have a very close relationship with the teachers. The teachers will be with you all the time. The teacher will make sure that you pass, help you when you have problems academically, because that always happens, that you need some extra help. And they will guide you also on how to study in the Nordic region, uh, because it could be a bit different from uh, where you, you come from uh, and the, the study traditions in your country. So they will be with you all the time. And when you have progressed, uh, as I said, uh, in many cases to a follow up program at uh, the university, after that, you will have an excellent opportunity to make a good career. The university as such and the pathway programs are very known for the fact that a lot of our students, the uh, main part of our students, actually get a very good job afterwards, which is of course, why you start your studies. You have your eyes set on a career. You have an, your eyes set on your life. Uh, you might have a, a very clear idea what you want to do, or you, after uh, you finish your studies, uh, you will have more uh, ideas and opportunities on what to do. And that's exactly what this whole experience is about. You come to Grenna, you start at the pathway programs, you learn to both study, uh, but also live and stay and, uh, and understand the Scandinavian way. And then you excel to a follow-up program. And after that, you have an excellent opportunity to have a good life, a good career. So we are the first step at the pathway programs for that to be uh, a possibility for you. And we will do our utmost, as we have done over the years, to guide you to come to that, uh, to that point, uh, to that opportunity. So uh, I would very much hope that I could welcome you all in Grenna in uh, August when the semester starts so that you will have the opportunity to see this absolutely amazing experience, both personally and also uh, educationally that you will have at the pathway programs and the follow up programs at the university. Thank you so much. Thank you, Johan, for your words and the information, which I think is great help for the students presenting today. Now, next, let's invite Melly, the current student at the Yongshopin University, who is graduated from the JUE program, to give us more information about life and study in Yongshopin University pathway program. Melly, could you please just briefly introduce introduce yourself? Yeah.
Yes, welcome, Melly. Nice to meet you here. Mm -hmm. And how has the pathway education benefited you in your studies? Sorry, we cannot hear you, Melis. Could you please be oh, a little bit louder? Can you hear me right now? Yeah, I think your voice was canceled out by the system. Maybe you can oh. start over and introduce yourself. Yeah. Thank you. The sound is very weak. Sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. Is it better now? It is better now. Thank you. Okay. Uh, again, hello, everyone. My name is Melis. Uh, I'm from Istanbul, Turkey. And I was a pathway semester student last year, and I'm currently studying in GIPS in business school. And my program is international management. Yeah. And we just. We just briefly have a little question for Melly. How has the pathway education benefited you in your in your future studies? Yeah, I'm really glad that I decided to take that pathway because me from my undergraduate uh, program as a non-native English speaker, and the pathway played a huge role in developing my academic English skills. And when you look at it, you may not be aware of it yet, but academic English is really different than our normal daily English. And when you study in Pathway, you will do lots of group assignments and don't worry about it because it's just the beginning, uh, especially if you're studying in Yonshubing University, you will have lots of group assignments and uh, these kind of uh, things. <laughs> and at least this is how it dips. And with the Pathway, you will be prepared for it before you start it. It benefited me because I was not used to it before I came to Sweden. And also I, my writing skills have become excellent level. I can do my assignments and my um, exams very easily and confidently now in the program I'm currently studying. Okay, that's um, really good yeah. to hear from you actually. <laughs> the experience is really good. So what's your future plan actually? I'm still determining it's my first year in my bachelor degree. Uh, I'm trying to get to know myself but probably I'm going to do a master's degree after I graduated and probably in digital marketing. It's exciting to me right now. And of course, I want to start my own business like every business student. What are consequences? I graduated <laughs> from digital marketing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. So right now we have like a bit of information about you. Would you like to show some pictures of the experience from the past year program, maybe I have a yeah. live study. Yes. And um, just now, could you please share the presentation of the first part? Yes. Yeah. Now you can. <laughs> I will move this. Yes. Cool. Uh, so these people, they're some of my friends. When you're living in Grenna as an international student, you're you're becoming like a family. You get to know lots of people from all around the world. And yeah, we did some events. <laughs> we did some hikings, and then um, for the Christmas we did like uh, gingerbread, and we compete each other each other. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, but all of your classmates come from like all over the world, yeah, right? Yeah, including Asia, Europe. Yeah, America. from all around the world, from US, from Mexico, from Spain, from India, from Pakistan, like everywhere you can imagine. Yes. And also you guys have a lot of uh, other pictures as well to stay in together, yeah. to just share your life and have parties. I guess. Yeah, parties and studying, it's important. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice to see like uh, all the people are from like all yeah. the country share different cultures. And uh, you guys are still like uh, contacting each other right now, right? Some yeah. of you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's really We nice. have really good friendship because when you live with together for more than four months, mm -hmm. you become like a family and you get to know each other better and yeah. Yeah, and also here's some view of the Glenna. Yeah, I took this picture when I was there. Uh, the view and the nature is amazing in every season, in the winter or spring. Uh, it's it's amazing journey, I could say that. 
Okay, thank you, Melly. And uh, yeah, also we can see yeah, the literature. Candy, it's important for again, uh, <laughs> for Kagris. Yes, thank you. And uh, could you please, yeah, share this part? Nice, really nice picture. Could you, uh, Justin? Could you please go go to the go to the go to the last one? No, uh, this part it should be. I'm going to introduce a little bit about the facilities and the. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to share it with you guys. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Melis. Uh, really nice pictures. Now you have like a glimpse of the life and study in Glana from the pictures. Actually, I think even for myself, even I didn't went to the pathway program, I have touched and moved by the days of the pictures. And I can tell you, yes, that is everyday life there. And I really like it. I think you enjoy it a lot. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and it's a quite good experience. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so right now, I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the facilities in Glenda so you can have an idea about your accommodation. So uh, uh, let me share the presentation with you. Jessim, could you please share? Uh, no, it's okay. Jessim, could you please share the uh, the presentation again? It's about from the accommodation that part. Yes, thank you. Uh, from the accommodation part, so you can see that you will be offered one dorm, dormitory per person. So you will have your own private room, but at the same time, an opportunity to share the social and networking space like kitchen with all your classmates and some other playing equipment will be offered. Usually after like getting over with your lectures, mm -hmm. you can always go in there you have you guys have a lot of fun there, right? Yeah. Yeah. Your, even in your uh, place, yeah. The lesson. Yeah. Even like with the break of your lectures, you can also go there and play some games, get rest with your friends, with your classmates. That is a really good part. And also with having your quiet and own space, you can also indulge yourself into the multicultural language environment. Here you will also enjoy the beautiful scenery life and learn. Also, we have sauna and gym offered by the uh, Pathway program. So you can free use it every day. It's like a, for the daily time, also for your like a sports exercise. The Glenna has a really good view because it's a little travel town, which means like in the four seasons, you can see different views of the beautiful lake, really nice trees and a really natural environment. You can always enjoy it and have a walk with your friend. The activities we have a lot, in, including the traditional festivals like midsummer in the in the in the Sweden. Have you also enjoyed the, the uh, fa fa festival? I at that time in yeah. Sweden because I took an autism. Okay, but you have like other like study, study view and study visits and so on, yeah. right? Yes, we will also offer a lot of study visits like for the museum and for, for you to more understanding the local culture and get into like a different cultural environments. 
this is the best thing I think the Pathway program can offer to you. So thank you. We are uh, we are about to like uh, finish the presentation and the information prepared for you guys here. Now let us turn to your perspectives. You have like uh, more questions and concerns. What other like extra information you want to know? Let's go over with your Q and A list. And uh, we are having now Evelyn, the head of education and operations manager, to give us feedback. And also we have Jasima from the International Marketing Department, and Eric from uh, International Marketing Department, Johan as well to help us. Welcome. If you have any questions now, it's the time to just put in the Q and A list. Let us see. And. Like the first uh, fir first question, if like if you're being late, if you're missing the introduction part of the course and the visa, it's okay. We're going to help you. Uh, we're going to like uh, recording this session and send to you with a copy, so you won't miss any of the information. If you have like uh, more questions, feel free to ask it right now. I think if you would love to help me to answer this yeah, first okay. question, because the daily schedule we can maybe answer it directly here. So the question is, what did you day? What is your daily schedule look like? So uh, when you're studying in Pasqua, it's like Monday, Pasqua, Sina, Omar, you're heading to a point, and every day you have a lecture. You need to go to school, and mostly you have two lectures for each day um from nine to four i think i remember right uh but yeah it's after four you are free to yeah. go out and uh, play with your friends yeah. uh finish with your assignments ask the teacher to help with your assignments and with your course we'll do whatever you want maybe extend it a little bit because right now we have some students after they're having the lecture they will play guitar together so yeah. it's really nice Yeah. To this question. Yeah, and then now we see, uh, and the, they would love to know how would they, how can they move the dormitory of their program immediately? Oh, we cannot hear you right now. Can you, can you, can you please say again, Evelyn? Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yeah, sorry, my my voice was probably cancelled out. So I was just going to add to the daily schedule a little bit because uh, during a normal week in the Pathway program, you have three to four courses that is running in parallel. So as Melis said, you have maybe two classes every day uh, and we guarantee 20 hours of teaching every week, which is a little bit different from when you enter into university where you are supposed to be studying more independently we are, as Johan said before, offering a lot of support. So we are doing workshops, which means we're not always lecturing. We're sometimes learning together, uh, doing a lot of group work. We are doing a lot of different methods that we are trying to help you uh, get familiar, familiarized with so you are, uh, know what your studies are going to be like at the academic uh, sphere, actually. Thank you for answering these questions. Okay, so we get the next question is how I would like to know can I move to the dormitory of my program immediately after the past week course? I think I can answer this question, and it would say it depends on which program you're in. Uh, as well, if you're in the pathway summer program, then you would be transferred immediately after your program into your new dormitory in Yonshap University. Uh, if you have applied for accommodation. Uh, and also, but if you're in a semester program uh, and at the end of your semester, you can apply for staying in Grana over the summer and then go into your next dormitory when the next semester starts. And it's the same for the year programs as well. Uh, if you have a gap semester, however, if you're in a semester program and your spring is open for options, 
then we don't have accommodation for that period. It, it is connected to your studies. And here we have another question. Uh, like regarding to the housing, should we apply for the accommodation before arrival or will be automatically assigned to the dorm room upon arrival at the Green Mile campus? So you can, you should be applying for dorm, uh, for accommodation uh, and housing, but for the pathway program, it's always included. But you would tell us the, um, the date for your arrival so we can arrange for pickup or so you to make sure that you are getting a good welcome when you uh, come to Yonchep University. Um, but we will decide on which room you will be placed in. So, uh, but at Campus Grena, there is only one campus. And for your next uh, dormitory, when you're transferring to your education at Yonchep University, there are a few campuses that you can wish for which accommodation you would like to go to and they would do their best to place you in that accommodation thank you for answering and the next question i can answer directly can i bring my violin with myself is it possible to play it in your room mm -hmm. yes you can bring your violin as i said before like most of the students they have their own instruments and you can always bring them to the dormitory but it's better to play it maybe in the activity room instead of in your own room because probably sometimes it's too late to play it yeah. or something. <laughs> and you can always play it in the activity room and you can share with your friends, share your music idea. That will be so fantastic. And there's the next question. How early should the arrival be for the program? I think. Mm, yes, I can answer this. I'm just checking the dates. So if you're arriving for the summer program, uh, then you can arrive the weekend before your program starts. And it's the same for the program actually uh, starting in next semester. I'm going to share with you a link where you can see all the arrival dates and where you can uh, come for pickup. So you can have a look yourself. I'll share that in the chat right now. So I shared with you a link now where you can see where the arrival dates are and the pickup services operates. So that's where you can uh, get into your accommodation. And also there was one question for, hello, I only have one month for the past three programs. Am I a transfer student? in this in this session i think you uh, okay could you please in could you i i think uh, that i think this student might mean that you are maybe in a pathway summer program for four weeks yes. and if you have applied for a follow-up program yes then you are what we uh, what i think you mean is a transfer student then you have a conditional offer if you have applied for a program following and when you have passed the summer program, you're automatically admitted into your next program and you will be offered accommodation if you have applied for it. So make sure you apply for accommodation starting in the autumn. Yes. Thank you very much for answering all the questions. Do you have like more questions regarding the pathway program? Please feel free to. Is there uh, unallowed things to bring? Uh, usually, there's no 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 much like uh, requirements for this one, so feel free to bring the stuff you would like to you would like to bring, and especially for your life, if you really need it, yeah, feel free to bring it. Just don't bring some dangerous stuff, and then it's okay. <laughs> I think the only thing that is not allowed is to bring a spouse or partner, which is quite common that people bring a relative. And they can unfortunately not stay in our dormitories, but we can help them find accommodation on their own. Yes, exactly. And also, uh, just don't bring like any dangerous, like a fire things or something. And after past week, can I stay in our accommodation for a, for a month? 
uh, I think, you, no, I don't think it's like uh, available for you to stay for really a month. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm sorry to differ you, Arin, but yes, we can offer accommodation after the pathway program as well. If uh, I will offer uh, all the students to apply for accommodation through at Campus Grenna, we can offer accommodation, for example, over summer or similar. Okay, but so if if they're a pathway semester, I can I think they can. Sorry, yeah. if they're if they're if they're like a pathway semester student like me, if yeah. They're... Uh, yes, yeah. depending on if there is a gap between yeah. two educations, we can offer accommodation, yes. Uh, so if you're transferring, for example, if you are a um, pathway semester student starting in the spring, let's say that's the case, mm -hmm. uh, and you have a two months uh, in between your program, June and July, before your autumn semester start, then we can offer accommodation over the summer. But if you don't have a follow-up program, for example, we cannot offer accommodation because this has to be connected to education somehow. Your correct smell is, yeah. Yeah, so it depends on like which kind of program you're applying for. If you're unsure like which, which process you're going to do, then you can always like apply for it after, after your graduation. And yes, uh, can we get help when we move to the new dormitory after the pathway course? The accommodation office in the Manchester University are always here for helping you after the graduation for the pathway program. So it won't be any problem. You will be fluently moving into the new accommodation. Yes, and, and in the pathway summer program, we offer a pickup date where we transfer to the new accommodation. So there is uh, the accommodation will come with a car and pick you up with luggage and everything and transfer you to the new accommodation. Okay, so next question is, when can I know the result of my dormitory application? When you come here. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please help with that as well? Evelyn, could you please uh, let us know? I think it's the first thing yes. you'll arrive. Uh, so it says, when can I know the result of my dormitory application? Uh, and as Melis says, that's actually when you arrive. For JU University, you will know when you arrive because they have like 700 apartments. So they, they are very, very busy over a few weeks. But for Campus Grenna, you will know also when you arrive, but Campus Grenna is very small, so you will all be sort of in the same place. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, can, I, can I read the next question, Nori? Would that be okay? Yes. yes. Uh, when do we have a class in Jönköping University? So in, uh, in all most of our programs, we offer classes once a week. Uh, in Jönköping. Uh, we go to um, Jönköping University and use their rooms every Wednesday. It has been uh, the last semester. And this is to make sure the students, uh, you know, get a little bit of a feeling of how it's going to be to be a student at Jönköping University so you're prepared for your program. Okay, thank you for answering all these questions. Do you guys have more questions? Feel free to ask right now. Yeah, I think we have answered all the questions for now. So yeah, if you have more questions, feel free to email us or contact us. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Orin. I think we have some issues with the sound. So if it's if it's okay, I can read the question. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, which airport is closest to the school? And I would say it's probably, there is one in Jönköping, but it's very hard to get there. But Landvetter, Gothenburg uh, airport would be the closest one. Could you, could you hear me better right now? Yeah, I can hear you right now, but the sound has been going up and down a little bit. I'm not sure why. When we are switching speakers, I think some of the questions might not have been heard by the students listening. Okay, okay, we will try to try to fill in this. Thank you, uh, thank you, guys. Do you have like more questions for uh, for asking? 
If you have more questions, feel free to just directly type on and we will answer it all. Okay, so if you if you have more questions, please try to email us or contact us directly. So we will have especially the teachers and schoolmates to answer you the questions. So don't worry about everything. We hope we can see you really soon. And this is today's presentation. Thank you for all our guests and all our uh, teachers and the helping hands from the schoolmates here. Is it obliga uh, obligatory to get a accommodation? Is it obligatory to get the accommodation? Yeah, at Campus Grenna, yes, it's obligatory. It's part of the fee uh, to also get a place in the dormitory. But when you start at Jönköp University, it's optional. You don't have to apply for housing. You can choose a housing of your own. Yes. Uh, you don't, and for the next question, should we pay extra to use like a gym, a field, or any of the facilities, or they are free to use? This one is including in your study fee, so it's free to use actually. You don't have to worry about this part and just feel free to go, go to the gym and use it. I think, Oren, we can uh, just conclude with a lot of these questions that at Campus Grenna, every student uh, will be am amazed how much we take care of the students, I would say, both when it comes to practical matters, when it comes to technical matters, when it comes to be able to do sports, do play your violin, uh, of course, study uh, and not least have fun. But I would say that's the main thing with the pathway spirit that the teachers and all the staff around, uh, the surrounding staff, the people that help, uh, help with the housing and everything are extremely helpful. And uh, we and they really want every student to feel very, very welcome and comfortable uh, because that's a big part of the pathway spirit. So I think everybody should be uh, feeling all the way from the beginning when we pick you up at the airport and we take you to the dormitory uh, and through your stay at uh, the campus that will help you with all questions. And believe me, during the years that has been coming a lot of different questions uh, and we're trying to help with everything. So uh, that's, the, that's a, the speciality by uh, studying and living at Campus Grenna. It's a bit different from normal university life in that sense that we take care of the students as much as we can uh, during your stay at, at Campus Grenna. Exactly. I can only agree with you one here. It's a it's a place where you should feel very, 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 very welcome. Sorry. Uh, we will take care of most of things and we are so close with many of our students. So they they come to us with all questions and we try to help out best as we can. Uh, I can see there is another question here in the question and answer. Um, can pathway students be part of clubs at Young Shopping? And the the answer is yes. Uh, you are part of the student union uh, uh, when you enter pathway uh, the pathway programs. So that's a possibility. And I think this is a copy of the question we had before, but I'm going to read it again in case you didn't hear the question. It says, "Can we get help?" when we move to the new dorm after the pathway course. And yes, you will get help to move to your next dormitory when you end your pathway program. You will be offered a pickup. So the accommodations office will help you transfer to your new dormitory if your program starts directly after your pathway program. Okay, I think um, um, I'm going to say the ending lines here. Uh, as as uh, last of this session, I just want to say that I'm really happy to see so many of you have come to this webinar, and I really hope you got a few answers to your questions. And as Oren said before, you're more than welcome to email us if you have any questions remaining after this webinar. 
and we will do our best to help out. And if you are worried about anything or if there is any questions, small, big, don't hesitate to contact us. We are here for you guys. Hope to see you soon in Grana. That's going to be my final words. Yes. Thank you, Evelyn, for sharing this uh, warm, uh, warm final words like with us. And also, there's a little bit of a reminder. There's a little survey after this seminar, and uh, we will send to you guys. It's it's just like you don't if if you feel free to answer it. We appreciate for your answer. It's basically asking about what would you like to get help something about maybe password program live here. So please help us with the survey. We would love to get your answers. And uh, thank you. That is all the information we want to bring in out today. And thank you for our guests. Thank you for your Han, Evelyn, Jesse, Nelly. And thank you for coming here for listening. Thank you very much. Hopefully see you guys soon. Bye-bye.